Good morning, everyone. My name is Ken Griffin, and I am a lay servant at the Little Falls United Methodist Church. Today is the second session of a four-week series that I will be leading each Monday during the season of Advent. Last week, I spoke about the four Sundays in Advent and how each one is marked by the lighting of a candle in the Advent wreath. Last week, I spoke to you about hope. This week, I will be speaking to you about joy. But before I do, let us offer a moment of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Advent is the season of joy, a time when we can come together and celebrate with family and friends. But may we always recall that Jesus is the true source of all our joy. Help us to remember that while we were still sinners, God sent Jesus to die on a cross. And it is in his name that we pray, amen. Our scripture lesson today is taken from 1 Peter, chapter one, verses eight through nine. And if you have your Bible, I'll give you a second to, to turn to that. Once again, it's 1 Peter, chapter one, verses eight through nine. And my brothers and sisters, hear now the word of the Lord. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you, even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the joy of your faith, which is the salvation of your souls. May God add his blessing to this reading of his word. I've come to find out that joy means different things to different people. A young child is full of joy as he anticipates how many gifts will be under the Christmas tree on Christmas morning. A teenager is joyful as he looks forward to time off from school. But as I got older, I've come to realize that the joy of Christmas is very different for me. Being with family and friends has become more significant in my life with each passing year. However, the greatest joy comes in knowing that in a few weeks, I will re recall the birth of God's son in a manger in a small town called Bethlehem. So, my brothers and sisters, let us come together in joy as we recall the fact that no matter how many times we fall, Jesus will be there to pick us up again. He will be there to place us back on our feet. He will be there to guide us as we continue to proclaim the Father's message of joy through the birth of his Son. My brothers and sisters, let us pray. Heavenly Father, it's so difficult right now to have joy in our hearts and to celebrate that joy with others. But Father, so many times we as your children get hung up on the earthly definition of joy. Joy that centers around receiving as much as it does giving. But help us to remember that Jesus gave us the greatest example of joy. And that was, believe it or not, death on a Roman cross. Because by his death on that cross, we were reunited with you once again in heaven for eternity. And for all those who believe, Father, that has to be, should be, not could be, but must be our greatest joy. In his name I pray, amen. Have a good week, everyone.